Good morning, everybody. So today, me and Hunter over there are in the high tunnel. And in my last video, we tilled up all these six rows and got the nutrients in them. Now we are digging, we're laying our string line, digging a little trench, and then we're laying that drip line in this little trench here so we have it buried so the mice or anything don't get at it. And then after we get all these buried, we are going to lay fabric. So now that we got all our drip line covered with dirt, we're rolling out the fabric to cover it all up. And then under here, we have that, just a little bit of our drip tape sticking out. I'm gonna cut a hole in there and then we're gonna put our header line right through here. But first we gotta get this rolled out. This will actually unfold half the greenhouse. Then we're gonna do the other side, unfold, and then we're gonna get the staple down for right now. Looks pretty good. Alright, so we have a pretty good gap, even gap right here. And then we left enough on the end so we can staple it. No weeds are going to grow up along the sides. We're going to leave enough on that end so we can get right along the side. And then he's got enough slack down there. So we're going to do a little bit of adjusting yet and then we're going to start stapling. Alright, so we got it laying pretty nice. We got that end fastened. We're gonna run down that back side now, fasten that, and then we're gonna roll out the other side.
we just got done laying the fabric. It laid almost perfect. And we just drug the uh, header line back in here now. That's just laying on top. And then I'm gonna cut little holes in the plastic. I'm gonna feed that drip tape up through and it's gonna hook on to these nozzles here. And then we'll be ready to go. We're gonna start bringing tomatoes in. Probably today we're gonna bring them out from the greenhouse and then bring them in for a couple days to get them used to the temperature. If, if, because there's no heat in here. So if you would just bring them out and we plant them, they're gonna lay flat. They're not used to that cold weather. Like they're out of the 60, 70, 80 degree temperatures in the greenhouse. All right, so we're finally done. I think we got everything taken care of. Got the header line in. We got everything attached. The plastic looks beautiful. Uh, everything's hooked up right. All I gotta do is run it and make sure everything's good and there's no leaks. But other than that, we're golden. So I wanted to bring you guys in the greenhouse. I haven't shown you what was going on in a while. Everything's looking really good. We're completely full in here besides some very little sections. So we had to bring another section outside. We laid fabric so we could put all this stuff out here. All the stuff that can get cold, um, that can take the cold, like the flocks and the daisies. There's mom bringing in a flat of onions. So since we're pretty much out of room and a lot of stuff is just about ready or is ready to be sold, we're gonna start going to market next Wednesday, which is a week from today. So stuff like the fennel and the parsley and uh, down there we have the basil. Here we have potted tomatoes. We have the six packs of tomatoes. We have a bunch of hanging baskets that are ready. Um, these marigolds here, you can tell, they're about ready to pop probably in the next couple days. Um, begonias, all of like the cabbage and um, kohlrabi, broccoli, stuff like that. All that we're gonna start taking just so we can get some stuff out of here. So now that the weather's getting nicer and it's getting warmer out, um, my dad just started plowing the fields he, two days ago. Today he wants to try and finish plowing all like the early vegetable fields. So now it's getting us in the mood. We gotta get going on other stuff like, um, well here's actually some flats. The guys, Logan and Hunter, just washed a couple of, like an hour ago. They got them all stacked out here drying and uh, I don't know, a couple hundred there. They did a beautiful job stacking them. You can tell they're one, two, three, four high and they go a ways out there. And then down here, uh, this is where they're washing everything. They are washing all of like our, we call them just our green trays and uh, the bushel baskets. We use these bushel baskets for a lot of things, but most of what we use them for is just for sweet corn. We'll have one guy carrying them and then another guy follows right behind them picking the corn and throwing it right in the basket. All right, so I'm out here at the market, and uh, as you can see, we have a huge pile of boxes that need to be burned. And so it, the wind died down, and it just rained a little bit, so the grass is wet, so I think it's gonna be a good day to burn. So I'm gonna load, it's probably gonna take two or three loads. I'm gonna put them in the back of the truck here, take it down to the burn pile, and then I'm gonna burn this. burning now. Dad's out there chisel plowing. He, uh, what happens is our plastic layer, when we make rows to lay the plastic, which you'll see later in the season, it makes a mound probably about, I don't know, some won't zoom in here, three, four, five inches high and we can't do anything with the field until the mounds are down. So he's going through every row. You can see there's three rows right there. I'm trying to knock that mound down a little bit. Uh, I can't even show you. Oh, here, right here. Um, right there. It's hard to tell from the truck there, but there's three rows right there and there's just a mound. So we gotta get that flattened out. All right, well, that's about it for this video. So remember, it ain't much, but it's honest work.